Hi. Our Father in Heaven put impressions upon my heart and visions upon my spiritual eye, and I have a lot to unpack in three minutes, so I'm going to go quickly, but stay with me. These are all specific verses that he has asked me to share with you, and I'm going to tie them in with prophecy. But the first one he wants to begin with is Proverbs 3, verse 6. In everything you do, put God first. He will direct and crown your efforts with success. This means no matter what you do, big or small, consult with him first, and he will direct and guide your paths, and you will have success because God does not fail. Amos 3, verse 7. The Lord God does nothing without revealing his secrets to his prophets. There are so many distractions going on in the world right now, but be still, sit with him and know that he is God and he's speaking to you in every way possible, a hundred different ways, all in one second. Make time to sit with him. Go in your prayer closet and set an appointed time each day and wait for him and you will see that he will show up on time. The main message I was given was 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. We walk by faith, not by sight. And this is going to be very important in the coming days because our eyes are going to be seeing things that are designed to put us in a place of fear. And we know that fear is false evidence appearing real from the enemy. Remember, he runs this world and the ether so he can get into your mind and give you an idea that's not yours and don't make it yours. So if you still watch the news and you hear things of biblical proportions or things that are going on like Armageddon and all that, remember, walk by faith, not by sight. They're trying to steer you in a certain direction. Remember, our only authority is our Creator. We're reminded in the Bible that man will fail you. Only turn to God. Joshua 6 verses 4 through 5 talks about Jericho. And on the seventh day, the people walked around the walls of Jericho seven times, shouting the battle cry of victory as the priests blew the trumpets. The ruins of these walls were actually found in the 1930s. But this verse is telling us that like these walls, they're strongholds of evil, and many seem that they're impossible to destroy. But it will come tumbling down if we stand united and confront them with the power of the Word of God. Remember, God spoke things to existence. He said, let there be light, and there was light. So we need to use our mouths to speak things into creation, just as He did, because we're made in His likeness and image. Remember that any amount of faith, even as small as a mustard seed, can overcome any evil. Proverbs 12, 18, the words of the wise bring healing. Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Be discerning with your words that could either build life or take life. Speak as though you have already received what you are asking for. Command it with your authority, just as your creator has instilled within you. Malachi in Hebrew says that God is the same, always, and never changes. He's always good, loving, and all-powerful. No matter how the world changes around us, we can trust that God is consistent. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Please click on part two. There's much more biblical prophecy to be shared.